If you've visited the QMC by tram recently, you've probably noticed this. And no, they haven't discovered oil just beside South Block. This equipment is drilling for green energy via 64 boreholes, each as deep as seven Nottingham trams standing on end. The boreholes are uh, 250 metres deep um, and they're that deep so we can get down to 15 degrees C of water continually all year round. At the centre of all this will be four electric heat pumps that work like fridges in reverse. They take renewable warmth from the boreholes and from the air to run the heating and cooling systems. Any extra energy can be stored at a new £15 million energy centre. It's incredibly challenging, a number of issues. Obviously, we are a live hospital, so everything we do has to be done in and around our patients, staff and visitors. Over on the wards, they're out to stop the hospital leaking energy through the windows. 12,000, an area the size of two football pitches, are being replaced with double glazing. Before they were very drafty, uh, bits might fall on you, pigeons might come in, but now uh, they're, they're fabulous, uh, lovely and uh, draft proof, uh, stop the sound and the ladies on the ward love them. The vision is to hopefully get another round of um, public sector decarbonisation scheme funding so we can finish this scheme off and make this site totally fossil fuel free. The scale of this project gives you some idea of the huge challenges facing the NHS as it tries to go net zero by 2045. This project just deals with the 40% of its carbon footprint that comes from heating and cooling. The other 60%, well, that's going to have to be found elsewhere. Sally Bowman, BBC East Midlands Today, Nottingham.